Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, allow me to acknowledge His Excellency, the sixth President of Zambia, President Ed Kalung, best known to us as ECL. Uh, I acknowledge you, fellow presidents and uh, leaders at different levels of political party. I can see Zayelo. And the back, and, uh, so, yeah. As the Vice President of uh, uh, the PF, um, Ms. Honorable Luminda. Uh, Firstly, before I even talk about what is in fact what is dividing us, which obviously is uh, tribalism, I want to echo the words that have been spoken about the shrinking uh, democratic space in Zambia. I'd like to talk about the fact that Zambia sadly has become a police state. Some of you think we are not yet a police state. That is uh, what is happening. What was demonstrated yesterday in Cambridge? And it's a clear demonstration of what the police state should do. The uh, assault on his excellence by who we just went to say to play a Catholic school on the uh, uh, Bishop Mulen of the Catholic Church, uh, a very well known church registered, and uh, many of us have passed through that church just to go and uh, uh, greet him became an offense, and that policeman sent by. Not even somebody, you know. It's by HH, our president, to go and uh, impede, to go and attack the president's rights of association, of assembly, of uh, expression. That's not acceptable, fellow Zambians. That's not acceptable. I will call upon the church to take note of what is going on. I will call upon the Zambians to take note of what's going on. And I want to call the President Haka India. You, you promised the Zambians that you are going to make sure that this country enjoys democracy. No wonder he has not yet uh, allowed the repeal of the Public Order Act. That's what he promised because he's, he's using it to assault the former president. He's using it to assault other Zambians. This has to be condemned, fellow Zambians, in no uncertain terms. We want to encourage you, excellence. The Lord is with you. And if the Lord is with you, who can be against you? I believe the multitude of Zambians are with you. The reason he's doing this is because he's afraid of you. We support you, we are with you in Uka and in our Christian Democratic Party. And now I know well meaning Zambians should support you. Thank you so much on that point. Now, all of us are aware that uh, President Haka Inde has been instrumental in uh, dividing this country. You may be aware of the fact that uh, this country is divided between the, you know, uh, there's a special uh, section of the country called the Zambezi region, southern, western, and northwestern uh, provinces of Zambia. Most of the key political appointments have come from that region. But now, when you go further as to what is happening in the public service, in the parastatals, he has even ignored the other uh, two provinces, western and uh, northwestern. 
the focus teach you follow what's going on is that disappointing only tonga to, to fill those positions some of you are not aware of the fact that even headmasters are being removed police officers are being removed uh, to be replaced by those from southern province this is not acceptable this is not the zambia we want i believe that you know appointments will be across the board. I believe all of you have your, you have seen for yourselves what is going on. This is not acceptable. I was recently in Tien, uh, and you know who is the council secretary in Tien? There is a man from Southern Province. I won't mention his name. But it, it begins with ha, ha. And that has become common. But this is not good for Zambia. I want to, uh, before I hand over, I had very few minutes to, to speak, uh, mention especially uh, our, our Western partners in development, the, the, the stakeholders, and particularly the British High Commissioner. His name is Excellency What happened yesterday, Mr. Hulley, is that democracy? I believe that uh, the statement he made about uh, democracy being so good in Zambia uh, must have embarrassed you. Uh, the uh, British government, because if they see what is going on here, where the former head of state cannot democratically go and pay a catastrophe on a church leader, uh, an important church leader, and uh, they, could, they can send um, a police officer to go. He was not even, he didn't even know. Uh, President Chanda was saying in Bash, you know, you know. You know, he didn't know, he just forced himself in there shaking and uh, demanding uh, to, to, to close that meeting, which was not even a meeting, it was a case. Oh, we saw it live on Facebook. Mr. Uri, you are a distress to democracy. You are not, you don't support the democracy in Zambia. And I'm glad that uh, I've heard he's leaving. Uh, the reason, the reason he's leaving, Zambia is, uh, he knows his uh, uh, prime minister is going to be defeated. I like the, uh, you know, the conservatives. They are my friends, but uh, Mr. Uri, what you are, you are doing here. And by the way, you are seeing him wherever President Akainde goes to open the mind of this the mind, Mr. Uri, they are maybe their business partners. Maybe that's why I understand that he wants to remain in the country even after his tenure of office. Just remember, uh, 20, come 2026, your friend is not going to be in State House. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Archbishop uh, President Pule talked about what happened uh, to His Excellency the President. Um, although everything that happened was extremely sad, there's one aspect which uh, made me actually uh, laugh and even have tears roll down my my face. And that is when uh, His Excellency was asking him, so you want me to go? Where should I go? And then the officer says, you should go there where you are going. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> As All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.